Christmas. Let's toast your new house. Maybe I should mention one thing. You say your new house, but it isn't only mine. No? No. I've registered it in both of our names. I hope you don't mind, but I hate to change a plan when there's no need. Mr. Carson, I'm very appreciative, really. But I can't accept. Why not? Who knows what the future may hold? Or how much longer we'll even be here? Suppose you want to move away and change your life entirely. You don't want to be stuck with me. But that's the point. What is? I do want to be stuck with you. I'm not convinced I can be hearing this right. You are, if you think I'm asking you to marry me. Well? Well, you could knock me down with a feather. And you're not offended? Oh, Mr. Carson, I can assure you the very last thing in the world that I am at this moment is offended. You can take as long as you like. I won't press you. Because one thing I do know, I'm not marrying anyone else. Well then. What exactly are we celebrating? We're celebrating the fact that I can still get a proposal at my age. And that's it? <laughs> of course I'll marry you, you old booby. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs>